Overview of Market Segmentation Market segmentation involves dividing the market into distinct subsets or segments of consumers that have similar needs and wants within each segment, but are distinct from other segments. The needs and wants within each segment should be ones the marketer can appeal to by tailoring the marketing mix. Markets may be segmented in a variety of ways, including age, income, sex, occupation, family size, or other demographic characteristics. Segments can also be based on psychological consumer factors, sociological characteristics, and usage or purchase patterns. The needs and wants of a segment should be lined up with various measures of characteristics, including demographics, psychographics, attitudes, and personality traits. Successful segmentation generally requires three conditions. The market being identified for segmentation should be measurable, sizable, and reachable. First, a market segment should be definable and measurable, otherwise its potential for sales cannot be estimated. Segmentation based on psychological or behavioral behavioral characteristics is more difficult to measure relative to segmentation based on demographics or geographic dimensions. Second, the market must be large enough to support an independent marketing effort. Some segments may be too small to justify the cost of developing a product to serve them. It is not feasible to serve all consumer needs just those needs that can be served profitably. Third, it is not enough for a market segment to be measurable and sizable. It also must be reachable with marketing communications via print or broadcast media, the internet, face-to-face -face sales, and product samples. For instance, the baby market, which is a sub-segment of the family market, may be reached through magazines in doctor's offices and through gift packs that are distributed at maternity wards of hospitals. Sports car buffs, a segment of the automotive market, may be reached through special interest magazines, whereas the segment for Dove body wash is large enough to justify the use of general media. Market segmentation is an essential element of successful marketing strategy. Knowledge of consumers, their needs and interests, is an essential element of successful market segmentation. Once measurable, sizable, reachable market segments are defined and target segments are selected, the firm must proceed to position their product in the targeted consumer's mind according to the needs and wants that characterizes that segment. For example, Nike means superior athletic performance, Apple means creativity, and Coca-Cola means happiness. These are psychological benefits that competing brands cannot imitate in the same manner as core product attributes, such as price, size, texture, taste, hardness, and quality, which all can be imitated. Thus, such psychological characteristics provide firms a competitive advantage that is valuable to maintain. Different segments can be served by different products within a product line, as well as by different brands. The segments are lined up with products designed to appeal to each segment. For instance, within the Godiva chocolate product line, there is milk chocolate, dark chocolate, and very dark chocolate. Each of these products are targeted toward different segments of consumers that vary in characteristics such as age, younger consumers tend to prefer milk chocolate, and health consciousness. More health conscious consumers tend to prefer darker chocolate. It is critical for marketers to identify the product characteristics that are important to consumers in their targeted segment. Not all product attributes are equally important, nor do all positions appeal enough to consumers 
to justify an independent marketing effort. The marketer must investigate the attractiveness of different product positions in the product space to find which one is appealing to a large number of consumers and relatively unique from competitive positions. The marketer then develops a product or brand concept which defines the characteristics of the brand in terms of the attributes appropriate to the product position selected. This process requires a thorough knowledge of the product category and competition, as well as understanding consumer needs and consumer behavior. With a solid product concept in hand, the marketer's task is to communicate this concept to consumers clearly and unambiguously via the brand image, which consists of all of the associations the consumer connects with the brand as a result of brand-related stimuli such as ads, other brand users, and their own brand usage experiences the consumer has encountered. Although brand image exists only in the mind, it is as real as any other psychological phenomenon. In the next video, I will discuss some analytical techniques that marketers can use to help them segment the market.